Yeah, I got my tires back and everything, and I mounted them. These were my trailer rims. These are the tires on my on my um, van. I took took the tires off the van. These had some old tires on them, so I swapped them out. Cost me twenty five dollars because I had to buy new stems. They charged me five for the stem. It was nice of for that, but it was normally five each. But he broke them off. They wasn't leaking, but he broke them off. Anyway, we're gonna try to balance them market right there but i'm thinking that's not even right like we're off a little bit just kind of balancing back and forth a little bit until it kind of settles in a certain it's kind of a guesstimation really yeah because they didn't balance them he would he, he usually mounts them bounce them bounces them for uh ten dollars but um the tires wasn't loose so let's try right there because i think that one's off a little bit We'll spin it, take that and spin it around the top and watch it go back around. Give it a little push a little bit sometimes. Spin back around. It's touching something up underneath though. It'll make it back around. And I'll end up at the bottom. If you can hear, he did this when he did the stem, he left the piece in there. Sometimes you got to play with it. We'll just touch, you know, touching the tire a little bit and see if you can get it do any different. So all your weight's going to be at the bottom because of gravity. And this is kind of a theory. The other side did fine. They didn't have to do anything with it. This side's out though. Still roughly about the same, but I got something snagging up underneath. I jacked it up a little higher. We weren't snagging nothing. You kind of got to wiggle it back and forth. Just slightly with your fingers. It's just kind of a guesstimation kind of thing. Then we'll guess straight across. It's kind of in the middle of that thing, pretty much. So I'll put it right in the middle of that one. Put my, I'll put my weight right there at the top. I got three weights. I ain't no, I ain't no dude that does balancing, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and I got three weights here. One, one, and one and a half, and a two. Got both of these was on the other tire, on the other side. This one was on, no, on this side, excuse me. These two were on this, this tire, and this one was on the other tire. So the other tire, when I spun it around, it didn't seem like it was out of whack. So anyway, I got these three weights from from the top from the tire changes. Let me see what I can do here. I'm gonna put the small one on first. Okay, put the small one on. Give it a little bit of, of a tug, you know, to get it coming back around. And it's coming right back around. So it's still out. Of, it, I would say it's still out. So that's at the top and that's at the bottom. I'll try the next size. That one and a half seems to do it. I kind of playing around with it and not really going around too much. Not doing that thing, you know, where it was. You got the mark there, it's not really moving. When used to it with that mark would go back down the bottom. You got that on that side and this on this side. You know, if you kinda give it a little little snag, you know, it's not really going that much. So I assume that means it's in, in balance more. Put that on the right mark on that side, not on that side. Stay in. I'll see how it does when I drive it. I'm gonna have to put the two on there. Anyway, that's a two. I was trying to show the number, but it's one and a half on that. Anyway, um, just trying to save money, but I think he should have mounted or you know done all that because I already had him right there ready to go, and he shouldn't have uh, tried to charge me for balancing them when. You know, I had him off the cars and everything ready to go. He would have had to jack it up anyway for the ten dollars. Normally, you know, he jacks them up and mounts them and mounts them ten each, whatever. All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a good day.